what should we play just to show the other side of it? Um, what about the first track? The Tramontane, is that how you pronounce it? Um, what is a Tramontane? <laughs> Uh, I've caught you. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, when, when we had composed this piece, I had looked it up and I thought, wow, that is the perfect title for this. And now I can't remember mm, the can't definition. Really, can't <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it fit at the time. It really seemed to make sense. So. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I can urge the listeners to come up with a, an idea for what, what that means. Maybe uh, we'll get something creative. That sounds like a good idea. But meanwhile, let's, uh, let's hear that track, Tramontane. One of our listeners uh, checking in has uh, has uh, told us what the definition of uh, Tramontane is. Excellent. Now we can know what our own song means. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, he says a Tramontane is a um, classical name for a northern wind. That's what right. Was that? Yeah. A northern I wind. Now. And it also... Uh, it also means lying on or coming from the other side of a mountain range, or broadly, foreigner. Hmm. So it could. Oh, yeah. It applies to on many levels, I think, because hmm. uh, a lot of your your tunes do sound like they're they're sort of a uh, um, a soundscape from, you know, born on a wind somewhere, dark in the woods, or wafting over the land. It just sort of, uh, that's sort of the way some of the music hits me. Hmm. But um, that does sort of uh, fit the description, because a lot of your things have, have this airy sound to it. But um, that's just to my ears and maybe a few listeners. <laughs> I can hear that. Hmm. I definitely could. And Kevin is uh, playing, well, is this one of your, your own guitars? This is one of the ones that has been designed for you? Right. This was actually, I, I designed it, but it was built by Daniel Robert Stringworks right. in Montana. This is a 16-string contra guitar, which oh. is an octave lower, based an octave lower than concert pitch guitar, but then goes up with the additional courses much higher than a regular guitar. Right, and it gives it such a rich tone. So th the low end is just... Just beautiful on yeah, this. Yeah, it really is. Thank you. And now, are these uh, these uh, a line of guitars you're going to be uh, offering for for sale or no? No, I don't think so. No, too <laughs> just specially made for you. I think they're too esoteric. I don't think anybody else would want to yeah. mess with them. But I could be wrong. Well, well, I'm sure learning to play it is is uh, well. You designed it so you would know how to, how to play it. But I'm sure it it creates certain challenges for you as a guitarist. Yeah, after I after I learn how to play it, I'll let you know. But, <laughs> no, it's it's a much longer scale. It's a thirty inch scale, and uh, standard guitar scale is usually around twenty five. So wow. it's much longer. Mm -hmm. uh, the neck is more than twice as wide as a normal guitar. So it's it's physically quite a challenge. But yeah, and your fingers are wide enough, or your hands rather, to uh, to reach all those strings. Uh, you know, I'm I'm watching you through the window here, and you're you're able to reach your your wrist all the way around that that right. must create its own challenge on its you know to your your physical playing of the it, instrument it's yeah it seemed really awkward when i first started learning it but now i i do it without noticing it it just seems very natural now mm -hmm. and now when i switch back to like concert pitch guitar it seems really <laughs> awkward you know i really miss this when i don't ah. have it yeah. well it gives you it gives you more of a sonic uh, palette to play with indeed yeah and now mark you're playing through through a number of electronics, you've got a laptop there and, and so, uh, yeah. some magic boxes going on. I've got, I've got a quite a bit of stuff here, yeah. On the, uh, the last track I was not really using that much, it was really just a guitar sound with a, a little bit of processing, but I think I'm going to use a bit more now and use the laptop and um, exploit some of the palettes that that, that offers, which yeah. I like to use. All right, and, and what are we going to hear on this piece? Well... Uh, all our pieces are improvised, so right. we don't know yet. But we'll oh, so <laughs> so we don't have a title here, and no, uh, no. you know we can invite listeners to yeah, to I name them as we go. Good idea. All right. Well, untitled number two from uh, my guests Mark Wingfield and Kevin Casting on WFMU. <laughs> 